One of the things that's really distinguishing about the American nuclear weapons program is the level of secrecy. And it was, even during World War II, it was understood to be a level of secrecy higher than any other military program. And this was actually language that President Roosevelt used. It all stems from Roosevelt. It, uh, we often wonder where did, why was it kept so secret? Roosevelt, from the very beginning, said, we're gonna keep this very, very secret. He mandated to Vannevar Bush that he maintain absolute secrecy, as he put it. It was to be, the fact that there even was a secret was itself a secret. The fact that they were even worried about the atomic bomb was itself a total secret. There were at least three spies at Los Alamos, uh, David Greenglass, who was Julius Rosenberg's brother-in-law. He was uh, uh, not a very high-level person, but he knew some things, and he did give away things that were classified, like information about the implosion bomb. Uh, Ted Hall, the youngest member of the Los Alamos scientific team, he was a Harvard undergraduate. Um, he gave quite a lot of information to the Soviet Union. And uh, most importantly was Klaus Fuchs, a member of the British delegation, originally a German, uh, and the mild-mannered Klaus Fuchs, who everybody trusted, and uh, he was actually the babysitter when they would have these Los Alamos parties because he was so quiet and trustworthy. They'd give him his children, their children to watch. Uh, he turned out to be the biggest spy of, uh, of the Manhattan Project, and he gave information on pretty much everything they were working on to the Soviet Union uh, and continued to do so for many years after the war. One of the interesting things about Fuchs is that he was central to three nuclear weapons programs. He uh, was part of the American Manhattan Project. He went to Los Alamos. He was involved in designing the initiator for the plutonium bomb. He was also involved with the electrical system at Oak Ridge and numerous other issues, the implosion program. Um, he then went back to the United Kingdom and he helped them build their first bomb in the 1950s. And of course, during this whole time, he was spying for the Soviet Union and was very crucial to their, them building their own bomb. So he's actually one of the more central figures in the nuclear age, though he's, he's not especially as well known as some of the other characters.